show up for yourself even when you don't feel like it I read that quote um, somewhere I don't I don't remember where I read it somewhere or heard it or something and it like really stuck with me because right now I am going through some things you know <laughs> and I saw that quote and it said show up for yourself even when you don't feel like it and I feel like that's like such a such an act of self-love because there's a lot of times where like we want to show up for ourselves but like we don't feel like it and we just don't because we, we don't want to. We neglect ourselves and our needs and our responsibilities and all of those things. So we tell ourselves we don't feel like it and we just don't. And I mean, it's a, it's really easy to do that. And I'm not gonna sit here and act like I, I've never done that because um, last year I was going through some stuff too and I did not show up for myself and it slapped me in the face. And life hit me harder than it, it needed to because I didn't show up for myself. So, this year I am and it's not easy at all it's like it's really fucking hard you know like because I don't feel like it and I'm still doing it but what I can say is there's a difference between like doing it and not because I mean duh but because at the end of the day you're less down in yourself because you're like, you know what, I feel like shit, but at least I did this. At least I finished that thing. At least I, you know, you feel better and like slightly more accomplished. And that kind of like adds to the self-love and makes you feel better. But if you're already spiraling and then you don't show up for yourself, at the end of the day, you're kind of more of a downward spiral because now you're like, well, I feel like shit and I didn't do that thing. So. What I'm trying to say is like, am I making sense? I don't know. But what I'm trying to say is just show up for yourself because no one's gonna show up for you. And if they do, and you rely, rely on that, that's called codependency. And um, that doesn't really have much to do with like what I'm talking about, but it's just, that's another sidebar. What is showing up for yourself? Like you might be like wondering what I'm talking about. Um, what I mean by this is like when you're down, when you're going through something, when you're not, ooh, ooh, there's traffic. Oh, bitch, it's 445. Why did I get, why did I get on the highway? So what is showing up for yourself? It depends on your life and your choices and your lifestyle. For me, showing up for myself means getting out of bed. Showing up for myself means showering. It means eating three times a day or two, two times at least, like full meals, you know? It means editing a video, it means start trying to edit a video maybe I don't edit the whole video but at least I tried you know it means checking my emails and responding to them it means answering my friends it means eating a nice meal or it could even mean shaving my legs like things that I know that I want to do but I I don't want to do and I just decide to do them um, for me this week it's meant editing videos it's meant clearing out my phone answering the emails like I said and filming right now I'm not like my usual self I'm not like super super out there I mean I guess I'm really not like that in general but like I'm not my full self right now and if you know me you can probably tell um, but I'm here and I'm filming and yeah so yeah I mean it's also meant to me um, the little things like uh, watching mindfulness videos or eliminating social media out of my life right now. That's another thing that I've done. I'm off social media. I deactivated my Instagram and then some brand was like, oh my God, we need to see your analytics and we can't find your page. And I'm like, oh, really? Like really? Right when I fucking deactivate now, you wanna see? So then I had to reactivate and then you can't deactivate in the same like week or whatever, I don't know. So um, yeah, they're still checking my analytics. So I, anyways, I'm, I'm off social media regardless. I'm not logged in at all. I'm not on Facebook, I'm not on Twitter, I'm not on Instagram. I'm on TikTok, but I'm limiting myself to 45 minutes a day. If I see something like triggering or whatever, I just swipe, I just swipe. Before I would watch, now I just like swipe. But I'm literally 
I used to be addicted to TikTok <laughs> and slowly I'm like weaning myself off. I started off with like one hour a day, like whatever, two, or two hours a day now. <laughs> it was bad. Now I'm like 45 minutes a day and I don't go on before bed, so yeah. Um, that's, that's showing up for myself. So that's, that's just really it. Like sometimes you don't feel like doing the things you need to do for your mental health, for your well-being. Um, but you just gotta do them anyways. And not because you have to, well, it depends on your life. I mean, if, if you gotta show up to work, you gotta show up to work. If your assignment's due next Friday, you gotta get it done by next Friday. But there's other things that are for you that you don't necessarily need to do, but it will help you. And it, it is for your greater good. And it's something that you just gotta do because after you do it, you know, you're gonna feel better. And if you don't feel better, at least you won't feel worse so that's really it I know it's a short little video um, but I just wanted to tell you to show up for yourself even when you don't feel like it if I was a tattoo person I would tattoo that on my body but I'm not a tattoo person because why put a bumper sticker on a family you don't you don't wise words of Kim Kardashian West Ooh, she got a divorce I mean Kim Kardashian yeah um, anyways I'm on my way home right now I was with my parents for quite a bit of time the longest amount of time I've spent with them since um, my cat died and it's been nice <laughs> it's been real oh I forgot to pack the chili I forgot to pack the chili it's been nice I've been having um, like, um, I mean, like, I haven't been okay, but I've been, it's been okay. It's been, I've been, as, as, I've been as okay as I can be. And I was home and my mom was taking care of me and I was eating good. Um, I didn't have an appetite, but I was still eating. And um, yeah, it's been nice. I've been sleeping. I've been having lots of vivid dreams that are starting to get on my nerves. I'm having dreams every night that are very vivid. I think because I've been sleep, taking sleep medication and not the the um, natural kind, not like melatonin or CBD. I've been taking like real sleep uh, prescribed pills and I think they are triggering my dreams. So I'm not gonna be taking those anymore. Um, I don't, I, I always like closing off the video and I'm still talking. I think cause there's traffic, I'm just like a little bored. But um, yeah. I I don't know I don't really know what else to say I just wanted to share that like those words of wisdom with you because like when I read that quote or heard it or put, I don't even know where it came from I don't remember um, but it really stuck with me because I think it's like what I needed to read and um, I just felt like I needed to share it for some reason because I think that a lot of us we get so consumed in our problems that we forget about um, our well-being and things that we need to do and we can't be doing that, you know? Um, so I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna eat again. And I'm gonna sleep and I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna make my bed and I'm gonna shower. I'm also waking up early still, which is something that I didn't think I'd be doing, but I'm still waking up early. Um, again, I'm as okay as I can be, which is, which is good. It's also, I don't know, I don't know, but, um, yeah, I guess that's it. I'm gonna go home. I'm seeing my friend today. She's coming over. We're gonna paint. We're gonna get some Thai food. We're gonna maybe drink wine, depending on my emotional state and if I can handle it. And then we're gonna say bye. <laughs> okay, I've been talking for like a while now. Um, yeah show up for yourself even when you don't feel like it if it's not memorized by now it should be because i think i said it 20 times but i will see you in my next video expect regular content i have some pre-recorded content that i'm going to be posting um so i won't be all sad but yeah that's it okay bye